everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we've got a look at a new guitar amp simulation plugin from Brainworks and Plugin Alliance, the BX Rocker Gain 100. It's based upon an orange Rocker Verb 100, clearly an orange amp, you can tell just by the graphics here. A couple of the cool things that are included with the Brainworks version, you've got the front panel, which is exactly the same as the actual amp itself. But once you open up the FX rack, you can actually dig in and get some really cool things out of this. You've got a noise gate, you've got some pre, post, or off amp filtration, you've got a delay section built in. Down here, you've got the input gain, you've got a power soak, you can bypass the power amp, bypass the preamp, and so on. You've got a recording chain here for some cabinet impulse responses, and I say some, there's actually a ton of them if you open this up. All of these impulse responses through different cabinets. You can choose to look at the info from how it was recorded, what the exact cabinet is, what speakers it has, what microphones it used, what preamp it went through, and what EQ was used on it. So it's really in depth. Of course, you could turn that off completely, have just the amp going if you want to use your own third party IR stuff, if you've got that. But for this purpose, we're just going to leave in the Brainworks IR. If we go back to the front panel, we're going to first start by hearing the clean channel. This is a two channel amp, it's got a dirty channel and a clean channel. We're going to start by hearing the clean channel with some really simple guitar stabs. That I have a recording of. Here it is. Get the idea here, the clean channel controls. I'm going to boost the volume up and I'll pull the master down a little bit after I do that so you can hear how we can still get some dirt even in that clean channel. So if you really push it, the clean channel breaks up nicely. And if we want to go super clean, we'll bring the volume down, put the master volume back up. So it's clearly not like a really chimey clean amp. It's got some fuzz to it, but it's a really nice tone. If we found a tone we really liked, but wanted to try it through some different impulse responses, just go over to those recording chains and try out some different cabinets. We could go through an orange cab. I mean, that makes a huge difference in the actual tone of the amp itself, just changing those impulse responses. This is a really bonus for this plugin, and I think some of the other Brainworks amp sims have this as well. Just to be able to go through these different recording chains can totally change the tone of the amp. Next, we'll look at another part, but I picked a preset called Strat Crisp Clean. One of the cool things about the presets is some of them are based upon the actual guitar you're going to use, either a humbucker guitar, Les Paul style guitar. Stratocaster, Telecaster, this one's a Strat preset. I'm gonna mess with some of the tone controls. So it's a pretty cool, clean channel on this amp. Now let's go to some of the more overdriven tones. So we're on the dirty channel now. We've got a preset called Break Stuff. Let's listen to what the overdriven channel sounds like. Nice overdrive. We take that one preset, but we really push the gain up and bring the bass down a bit. You can see how far this can go with overdrive. It's 
So you can get some really heavy distortion there. Let's try a couple of the presets. And again, we go to the FX rack and we could change the cab. And that just completely changes the voicing of the amp. So there we have it, the BX Rocker Gain 100 from Brainworks and Plugin Alliance. It's a really solid entry into their amp sim lineup. It's got a really cool, usable, clean channel that breaks up nicely when you drive it. And of course, really nice overdrive in the dirty channel. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next. And I will see you in the next one.